Up next, Incredibles 2. It was great to see the cast come back after 14 years and they haven't missed a beat. With the lone exception of Huckleberry Milner replacing Spencer Fox as Dash, but truth be told, the vocal resemblance is so identical that you won't even notice the difference. It does feel like the first movie again. There are similar beats of where Helen is reveling in the glory of being a superhero again in the same manner as Bob did as Mr. Incredible in the first movie. Other copy and paste moments of the antagonist motivations for bringing supers under control is somewhat similar to Syndrome's for not being accepted for being as Mr. Incredible's partner. The major difference is, is that her father believed in superheroes and one didn't come to her parents' aid when they needed it. So in this comparison, Syndrome was more original and, and entertaining. Also, Violet's character, character arc completely regresses back to being an introvert recluse when compared to come out, coming out of her shell and being more self-confident. I think the point of expanding a character's progression should be just that, taking their, their story further, not backwards. Seeing Brad Bird reprise his role as Edna Mull is just charming, as there's something very likable about the character, especially the way her eyes light up with the excitement when she sees that Jack-Jack has powers. In short, great to see them back, but some more original storytelling would have been appreciated rather than just borrowing beats from the first movie. Am I to presume that uh, so far I'm the only one who's seen this? Seen it also. Uh, go ahead, man. Um, okay. After listening here and hear about your impromptu review, I definitely have to agree. I mean, like, Violet regressing back to the whole recluse thing while the last one showed her coming out of the show. It's like, it was, I feel like it was just lazy and everything because mm -hmm. the last time, I mean, Incredibles came out in 2004. This came out this year. So they had, I feel like they had all the time in the world to just make more development, but they still go back with the lather, rinse, and repeat. Um, all in all, it was good to see Helen Parr, a.k.a. Elastigirl, get Get the spot, get the spotlight, mm -hmm. and it was really cool to see Bob Parr, aka Mister Incredible, do the responsibility. And it, you gotta admit, stuff like that is pretty, is pretty fun, pretty fun to, fun to see. Yeah. And uh, yeah. let's see. Well, did like he in the, the motivation behind it, mm -hmm. but since but. Yeah, like you said, Syndrome was the be was the better villain than than that than that one, you know. Mm -hmm. But all in all, action wise, it was pretty, it was pretty fun, you know. And hopefully, you see more of that continue with different Pixar movies, except have more be better storylines. Mm -hmm. I think that's where we're going to see with Toy Story Four. We still don't know what the plot is and everything, but hopefully, they, they do something. Even though I didn't want to want a Toy Story sequel because Toy Story three basically ended everything about that arc, but mm -hmm. you know it's Disney. Any exactly. anytime a movie movie does well, hey, let's do a sequel. Hey, let's do a live action one. That there, there, there you go. Or or better yet, hey, let's cancel all the best best net Marvel Netflix show and put it on our streaming service. Hmm. Yeah, oh, uh, so spoiler warning. Actually, they're yeah, so they're not the Marvel shows on there. The ones yeah. that got canceled, they're not there. Yeah, because they can't be seen for having too much edgy material. <sighs> yet Pirates of the Hold yet Pirates yet Pirates of the Caribbean three was the first Disney movie to be rated PG thirteen, wasn't it? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. And Daredevil's been cancelled. Oh, I already know about that. Yeah. Kona Sue says there's always Hulu. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Has to be Anyway, that's my review. So sure. no, not, not bad. Has to be said, um Craig T. Nelson. It's like his voice hasn't aged at all. You know, he just came back in like nothing, you know, like, there's only like maybe like a month or two passed from the first movie. And 
I don't know what it is about Holly Hunter, but that husky voice as Elastigirl, it's like, oh, oh, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> but yeah. Up next. I, I have thoughts, actually. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Uh, this was a fun little family romp of the of Pixar's first pure superhero family. Granted, it came a little too late, but better late than never. Better than most live action sequels of successful films. I'm looking at you, Zoolander two. Uh. I I did think that it was su- it did somewhat suffer from a lackluster villain. Come on, you can't top syndrome. Come on. No. Mm-mm. But the rest of the movie was a was a good time. A decent animated sequel. Also has to be said, uh, particularly with regards to Syndrome, when you have an actor like Jason Lee who can ham it up, that was just mm-hmm. perfect for the role. And I didn't dislike the villain that they had um, for for the second movie, but I don't know. There was just there was just no charm to her, you know. It's like I said the character motivation is like yeah syndromes was more original mm-hmm. yeah i'm all i'm gonna ask of pixar is this if you do a third movie please please and i'm asking you nicely don't make us wait till 2032 <laughs> some of us would actually like to see another incredibles movie before that time i mean don't get me wrong the cast came back and did it great. You know, not didn't miss a single beat, but 14 years from now, I think it's still going to sound as great as they are now. Mm-hmm. It's like... It's like... Um, let me think of a good example. It'd be like asking Dolph Lundgren now to come back and reprise his role as He-Man um, I don't know. Uh. <laughs> that's like asking Hulk Hogan to come back full time wrestling. No, that's not going to happen. How about no? <laughs> yeah. Uh, 